Hello, this is Rich with the Greenwich Education Service Center, and I wanted to go through briefly this little programmable paint thing that I put together um, in the interest of art, the iPads, and the Android tablets that, that kids have easily accessible to them. And so I just want to do kind of a real quick thing. I put it together. It's the art um, and interactive arts kind of been an interest of mine, obviously, the iPads and the Android tablets, too also Scratch and all of these other frameworks, the Snap framework, all of these ways now that kids can get into programming, into creating some really highly interactive um, game simulation stories and art. So this leverages Snap, which is a project out of Berkeley, which um, basically uh, leverages the, uh, the framework of Scratch, the way Pro, uh, programming is put together the way you snap blocks together and so I'll kind of go through this and show you show you the idea this is the programmable paint main web page here you'll see a little thumbnail of all the projects they're right across here you'll see users and I I put this together real quick it'll probably be um, I'll expand on it and make it a little simpler but I really wanted a way for people to take their projects and not just share them but have kind of a little bin of just their projects similar to what you would see on the scratch website um, so you'll you'll notice when I click my name here this this is these are all the projects I've created now um, first I'll kind of go in and I'll show us a quick project and then I'll show you how we can create an account so that you can create your own so if I click into this one you'll see this is kind of the interface um, for the iPad. So once you've created something you want to display it on your iPad or share it with your friends, you would give them this this little URL um, this little URL here that you would have given them and uh, you would copy and paste it and share it either on Facebook or, or wherever you would want to share it. And this would kind of be the thing they could play with and interact with on the on their iPad. This is just a real quick thing I created. I'll show you how I created it, how kids would create it. Right up in here, you'll see these little arrows. And you'll also see this stop, this pause, and this, or this start, this pause, and this stop button. So if I stop it, you'll notice my little thing stops spinning. If I click this green flag, it will start again, start over. This pause basically just pauses the script where it's at, and then I can play it again, see how it didn't clear the screen. So we'll go into the little interface that I use to program it, which is Snap, you'll notice. It is Snap. Now, I abbreviated Snap a little bit um, just to make it a little simpler for, for, for the kids. Snap really was um, intended kind of f f to introduce um, college students to computer science. Uh, but I did modify the block palette a little bit. So you'll notice on Motion, there's, there's a limited set. The Looks blocks, there's a limited set. The Sound blocks. Um, there's also a limited set with the pen, so I took I took some of the, the I took the liberty of taking some of the things out that I didn't use a whole lot, and in hopes that it would kind of not be as confusing, maybe to to kids that wanted to start doing some things with their with their programmable art projects. So you see my blocks and how I put this together. Um, I'll get into more tutorials in this in terms of specific block functions and how to create things but I want to show the basic interface here um, obviously we have our costumes now something new in this um, latest version of snap that that I'm using here is you have this paint feature which I really like see I, I click that little paint brush now I have this little paint feature just like in scratch you can paint your own things now um, and so the hopes are kids get really creative with that and share some neat things. Um, another thing I wanted to show is you can change these block. I've, I've thought about since tablets, um, you know, and our fingers are bigger than mouse pointers, um, about forcing these blocks to be much larger than what, what they typically would be for, for the tablet interface um, in mind. But there's this, this option in, in Snap that I really like is this zoom block so say if you have a much larger a much larger tablet you can make your blocks you know quite a bit bigger so if I say 
and they were already set to 1.5. Let's, uh, oh, there we go. So you've seen them kind of snap and make them a little bit bigger. Now, if I had um, something smaller, for example, and I wanted to make my blocks smaller, I could go up there, click the zoom blocks, and make them normal sized. So you'll notice when I click OK, my blocks get will kind of snap open and become much smaller. You see them over here. So you can actually determine how big those blocks are. Um, if your fingers are maybe a little bit bigger or your screen's a little bit smaller, you can make the blocks make the blocks bigger. And I'll kind of bump them out here. I like them 1.5 times the normal size on my tablet. It works out pretty well. I've I've tested this on the iPad and I've tested it on um, the Android device. Now that's one one weakness or one thing I'm I'm a little uh, not upset, but I wish worked on the iPad was the scratch. Now Snap does work on the iPad. Um, scratch is in is in um, Flash, so it doesn't it doesn't work on the iPads. Um, but this this does, and it's it's uh, I really like it. So let me kind of show you a few more things. If I want to, from this interface, view the shared projects, I can click there and see I'm viewing the shared projects. I can go back here. Um, say I want to share my project with the world. You see that that option here. You can also share it locally to your drive. You can save it. Um, you can also import things that you've that you've saved or export your blocks. But this is how you would share it with the world. So I click that share my project with the world. It's going to ask me, do I want to leave? And there's the programmable paint. Um, create an account piece. And remember I mentioned that this is really a way um, for you to to uh, to uh, share your share your projects and have a bin of your own things. Um, you see, I only have, there's only three real questions you have to ask: your email, your user, your password, and it's going to email it to you. So I didn't have you um, do a password check, and it'll email you that information. And, and all you got to do is just come up here and and log in. Um, and once I log in, I'll see my projects. So you see those, um, and I could save projects. You'll notice. Let's uh, go ahead and save a project. And when I save a project, you'll see kind of it add to my little thumbnail thing here. So let's do this. Let's, um, let's go ahead and create my own. It's going to bring that up. Let's, um, let's go to costumes and let's edit this. Just real fast, and let's uh, let's bring maybe I'll add to this so that I'm not um, there. We go. In. Let's go to the scripts. Let's have it. Um, let's have it kind of do some things other than other than just spin. Let's have it do. Let's have it spin and move. Let's also have it if it hits the edge bounce maybe. Let's see what it does. There we go. It's kind of spinning and moving. So now if I want to save this, I can go up here. I've already logged in. I can go up here and share with the world. Yes. And you see, since I've logged in, I've got it. There's my project. Now if I wanted to share that with with my friends, there it is. So that's that's my project. Let's kind of go back here and also notice that when I go back to my username, see how now that project's added, that little programmable art project's added. So that, in a nutshell, is this is this little um, app 
and I hope kids kind of start to play with it. It's another little tool they can they can use in association with with Scratch, and once they get a little bit better, they can uh, move up to the to the official Snap framework maybe. But this is kind of something that'll let them start to think about creating some simple little iPad iPad tools and and art projects.